And and hey, while I've got you too, man, I, I just want you to know, um, you know, I've made videos in the past when I'm rummaging through your dumpsters. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're aware of that. Um, I don't really appreciate it. Today's video is sponsored by the Song Songwriting Inspiration app. With Song, you can quickly organize over 6,000 guitar chords into major and minor keys and start writing more sophisticated, harmonically rich songs. Save your lyrical ideas and record quick melodies right inside the app to stay organized. Check out the Song Songwriting Inspiration app today. Link's in the description. Hey, how's it going dudes and dudettes? Brad the Guitologist here. A friend of mine contacted me a little earlier today and asked me if I had seen this news. This is local Louisville news talking about how Guitar Center and a handful of other businesses have failed to pay their rent for the past month since this whole coronavirus thing has started. Some retailers are taking a major hit during the pandemic as storefronts are forced to close their doors. Now lawsuits are shedding light on just how bad it's getting. Shelbyville, Plaza, Shelbyville Road Plaza Plaza, I should say, owned by Hagen Properties, is suing some of the stores in the popular shopping center. The lawsuit says Carter's, Guitar Center, Catherine's, Mattress Firm, Lane Bryant, and Off-Broadway Shoes haven't paid rent all month. The landlords say the tenants breached their lease contracts and are in default. They're demanding compensation, but say they are not looking to evict the businesses. As most of you guys who have watched this channel for any period of time already know, Moody's has downgraded the debt of uh, Guitar Center several times over the past couple of years. In fact, it was so bad at one point, I even surmised they wouldn't make it through the year 2018. They did make it through the two 2018 year, and at this point, it looks like they're kind of uh, running on life support. You wouldn't know it to talk to the local manager who I called to get a statement for this story. We ended up talking about several things, including my dumpster diving extracurricular activities. So that became very interesting and a little bit heated. You guys might might be interested in this. Check this out. Yeah, uh, can I speak with the manager, please? That's me. Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Brad Lindsay. Uh, I'm also known as the Guitologist on YouTube. How are you doing, sir? Good, and yourself? I'm doing well. Hey, uh, I noticed on D uh, WDRB they've got a they've got a thing on there alleging that you guys stopped paying rent. And I just, I'm going to report on this, but I wanted to give you a heads up and a chance to comment. Is there anybody from Guitar Center or maybe you uh, who would be willing to uh, comment on the record about this and maybe even rebut what, what this article is saying? You probably want to talk to the legal team about it. Okay, is there a, is there a number I can reach them at? Uh, I don't have any one offhand. I'll tell you what, I sent uh, some info over to my DM about this. Um, so I will let him know you're asking about it, and we'll see if we can reach out. And what was your name again, man? Uh, how are things going, if I might ask? I mean, are you guys planning on reopening soon, or what? what's uh, what's the deal? Yeah, we're following the uh, guidance the governor's given, uh, opening on the 20th. On the 20th, okay. Mm -hmm. um, That's fine. I'm really, really busy doing it all by myself, but other than that, it's good. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I bet you have nobody there to help you. Yeah, it's me and one other person, but, uh, you know, we're making it. Well, best of luck, man. I, you know, I don't want to see you guys uh, go under or anything like that, certainly. And uh, like I said, I am going to be reporting on this just because that's what I do. But uh, I wanted to give you guys a chance to kind of get your say. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't read too much into it. Uh, you know, it's a standard practice for corporations. I mean, the info I have is a lot makes it a lot less cloudy than the report makes it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we've paid our rent on time for, you know, nine, ten years, and we're only a month off, and it's because of, obviously, what's going on, so. Right. It's and you're, you're yeah. also one of six, according to the article, too, so do you know, mm -hmm. do you know which other, I, I don't know if I got that far in the article, but do you know which other retailers in that uh, center are not paying the rent? Well, some of the other bigger corporations, um, I think Celine Bryant, uh, the, if you watch the video in the article, it lists them all. Oh, it does. And okay. of course, they would put our storefront as the thumbnail for the article. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys seem to be the target. Um, well, I mean, I don't think he's targeting anybody. It's uh, you know, it, it seems like a sensationalized uh, story a little bit. Um, the way I understand it, it's not as big of a problem. I think I'm sure Hagen obviously wants to get their money, but you know, they're currently installing a. Uh, 
a, a radio system for the whole plaza. So you know, they're not. It's not like they're not spending money on the plaza either. Yeah, interesting. Uh, do you think maybe? Uh, this yeah, is... we're we're gonna we're opening back up, man. I think the hard, the biggest affected thing is our lessons business. You know, we're gonna have to keep doing video lessons because those rooms that we have aren't um, CDC guidelines. But uh, right. when we do open, it's gonna be a whole new world. You know, it's gonna be uh, staff health and well-being first and foremost. So. If you want to come shop at Guitar Center, you're going to wear a mask, you know. Um, demo time's going to be limited. Uh, you know, it's going to be some tough stuff that, you know, it's not... We've never had to operate like that before, but we're going to to keep everybody safe. Yeah, I mean, I understand that decisions like that probably, probably don't come from you, but I would urge you to kind of keep an ear to the ground because I'm seeing numbers now, man. There are some studies coming out of California and New York that are showing that these numbers are way skewed and they're, uh, the death rate on this virus is like way lower than most people even believed possible. Like, you know, yeah. a couple weeks ago. Well, so I'm, I'm hoping that the mask thing even won't have to, you know, keep up for very long, but you know, I totally understand you guys are a corporation and a lot of stuff comes from the top. But And, and hey, while I've got you too, man, I, I just want you to know, uh, you know, I've made videos in the past when I'm rummaging through your dumpsters. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're aware of that. Um, I don't really appreciate it. I understand. I understand. And, and it's, dude, totally. I get it. Um, but I have also found out that uh, from, from someone who works at guitar, another guitar center, uh, he contacted me and said, you guys have actually changed some of your internal policies uh, because of those videos, he thinks, but, uh, in terms of how you're dealing with um, returns on some things. Um, can you speak to that at all? Is that, has that happened um, no, as far as like repairs no and things? There's been no policy change for repairs or returns. Uh, okay. I just, you know, there's a lot that goes into that that you don't know, and uh, you make us look stupid, and I really don't appreciate it. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, if you man, you can have your if say you right now. If you were in my dumpster, I would, I would be grateful. Right. Well, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I appreciate where you're coming from. So. Well, that's all I have to say about it. I mean, it's pretty black and white. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do something like that to somebody I don't even know and say, "Oh, look how stupid they are throwing this stuff away." You know, we all work real hard here, and uh, yeah, you just, I don't appreciate you making us look stupid. Well, I think on a couple. I appreciate calling, so I could tell you personally. But no, no, sure, sure. I think on a couple of the videos, um, I, I did make a case that you know it wasn't you guys, and I didn't even think that you, as the manager, were responsible. Um, I hope you did see that, and hope you understood where I was coming from. That it wasn't still, it wasn't me attacking you personally, time, you know? or or the the employees of your particular store. It was just the knowledge that this sort of thing happens nationwide across an enormous chain and that uh, you know there are some things that that could and should be handled differently so that we're not wasting opportunities to either give to charity you know or or not send things to the landfill you know that that could be saved from it you know that that I, was I, my goal and I appreciate I do appreciate that I can't say that uh, in my home life and what I do at home is a lot less wasteful than some of the things I have to do here yeah um, it's just, you know, it's tough when we're sitting here working our asses off dealing with, you know, everything that does come down and we do what we have to do with some of that stuff and then here we go. And it, I wouldn't take it so personally if it wasn't my store. I try to sure. run a pretty tight ship, you know. I try to uh, do what I can for the community and, uh, you know, be conservative where I can. But we just get down to some of those things and, uh, gosh, if you only knew the backup that a lot of that stuff caused, it, uh, you know, you might have a different opinion, but... Uh, that's all hey, I'll say about it. I mean, look, I, there's, I'm, there's, sure, I'm glad we had a chance to talk about it. You yeah, know, like I said, there, you know, frustrating for me. I used to I used to manage a store as well, so I understand there's a lot of work that goes into trying to reclaim things like that, like to have somebody just dedicate time to sit down and like you know resolder cables or something, for instance. So I get it. Well, I, the, I, I, the bitch about that Kurzweil is that we did send it out to a guy, and he's like, "Yeah, sure, it's fixed. You know, that'll be 120 bucks." And then, sure enough, same problems and. uh it was the weight of it that really made it not very cost effective. Right, right. Yeah, see, I, I, I didn't even realize that you had probably even seen that video yet, but it's interesting that um, you mentioned oh, yeah. that one because uh, it was just, the only thing I found outwardly was that the, the keys were sticking. Was that the, was that the problem on that? 
as far as I remember. I know we yeah. sent it out once for repair, and uh, we sold it again, and it came back with the shoes, and obviously we did the return and refund. And because it's so heavy, you know, the shipping charges make it pretty uh, not very cost effective to get it fixed. So. Oh, dude, yeah, that thing was that thing was like eighty pounds. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you'd be surprised the stuff that shows up to us from the manufacturer that uh, you know got a hole in it, and they've sold it to our warehouse ninety days ago, and they're like, "Well, it's your problem now." So, right, it's tough. It's tough, and so you know, you're just you're rubbing my nose in it a little bit. I just didn't appreciate it. No, I, I, I get it, dude. And like I said, I, that that was never my intention to kind of rub your your nose in it particularly. It was mainly I, I understand that Guitar Center is a large corporation. You get a lot of stuff from the top down. Um, and that well, you know, that's all, not your call. Louisville, man. You yeah. know, we all we all live here in town, and uh, you know, it's it's a local thing as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, there are a lot of corporate initiatives, but they keep the lights on. Right, right. Well, listen. Thanks for talking to me, and uh, I'll I'll try to reach out to some lawyers on the other thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I would say I'll tell you what. I'll give. Um, I think we've got your info from the video. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Your email. Your email's on there, right? It is. Yeah, I'll tell Josh he called and asked about it, but I, I, I wouldn't worry about us going anywhere. We're uh, we're, we're going to be doing just fine. I think we'll be dealing with some folks who are like, what do you mean I have to wear a mask? But uh, that's that's the worst of what I'm looking you know, forward to. But we're going to open on the 20th. That's the plan. Well, best of luck to you, sir. I appreciate you talking to me. Thanks, Brad. All right, have a good one. Bye. You too. So yeah, that was our conversation. Uh, he did say that they, you know, obviously are planning on staying in business. They're going to reopen on May twentieth, according to the rules uh, set by our Kentucky governor. So, like I said, best of luck to them. I really do hope that they pull through for the sake of the local workers. I have never had any problem with the the workers at the local guitar center. In fact, in several of my past videos where I did do dumpster diving uh, and criticized the practice of throwing some things away. Uh, I was pretty quick to not lay blame on the local workers, knowing that it was a directive from the top down and it was really something out of their control. So it's not that I am, uh, you know, criticizing the local guitar center manager even or the workers, although he did get a lot of heat in some of the comments. So I apologize for that. But, you know, there is some blame to be laid for the practice of throwing away perfectly good things. Now, it, it is interesting that he did say there, as you heard, that the Kurzweil that I recently pulled out of the the dumpster had already been sent to someone to be fixed and uh, that it just wasn't going to be worthwhile to ship it anywhere to have it fixed because of the weight of the thing. So, And I 100% completely and totally agree with that. When something weighs about 50 or 60 pounds, literally, and is the size of a small boat, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not probably in your best interest to start shipping it somewhere to, to get it repaired by a Kurzweil authorized repair person. But yeah, I do appreciate the local manager there for uh, talking to me, for taking the time out of his day. Uh, I think he represented his store very well. I think he represented Guitar Center very well. And I look forward to also possibly speaking to their lawyers on the local issue. Uh, of them not paying the rent for a month and it looks like like i said several other companies in that same shopping center had not done that also hope you enjoyed that if you have hit subscribe down below and for now we'll see y'all later